Hello and welcome to Arphobis SharePoint. In this tutorial I would like to talk about the first steps that should be made after shopping cart deployment. Here is the marketplace of refurbished medical equipment that we'll create at the end of the next lesson. It already contains a set of products with description, price, images, sizes, and etc. Let's go back again to the product list view. And here it is. So, right after shipping cart web power deployment, your website looks pretty much empty. There are a few sample products and you need to decide what to start from. We suggest that the first step should be creating categories and subcategories of products. In this tutorial, we will leave other settings as is and concentrate only on categories and subcategories of products. I prepared some data for the marketplace we are going to create. This note contains information about products and their categorization. As you see, there are three categories – manual wheelchairs, walking aids, and hospital beds, with some subcategories under it. So I am going to fill out categories list. It may be found in the site content. By default, it contains three sample categories. Let's rename them. The first one will be manual wheelchairs. The second is walking aids. And the third is hospital beds. Now, as we completed our top-level categorization, let's do the same with subcategories. In subcategory list, you can choose top-level category and assign a set of subcategories to it. We've got only seven items on the second level of categorization, so it takes only a few seconds to fill it out. But there can certainly be more categories and subcategories for you. Later, we will be able to assign categories to products, filter products by these categories, and arrange order history list accordingly. It is also important to mention that even though Shopping Cart provides a possibility to create two level categorization of products, but you can use either one level of categorization or none. Three level categorization, however, is not available now. There are only a few list items left, so let me mention that the database in this tutorial was taken from a public website. So our new SharePoint site will match a real online marketplace. As we finished our list, let's check that all data is correct. Alright, let's go back to the product list view. Nothing changed except the categories of products. We can choose a top level category and a corresponding subcategory to filter out the products. Let's try hospital beds. As we see, there are no products in this category yet. And there are already two subcategories – bed rails and hospital beds. In manual wheelchairs, on the other hand, there are a few products already, and some subcategories as well. So in this tutorial we have learned the first steps that should be made after shopping cart deployment and created some categories and subcategories for our future marketplace. In the next tutorial we will learn how to create new products for our marketplace. Take care and talk to you soon.